Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial, we are going to learn about JTX field in Java. In our previous tutorial, we have learned about JLabel. So if you haven't watched that, you can go to the playlist and watch that. Now, if you have not subscribed my channel, so please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of every video. So I'll come here and press an enter here and now i'll use j text field and if i uh, press control space so it will give me the suggestion so text field txt equals new j text field control space again and it will give us a suggestion now i'll put parenthesis and semicolon now we have created our jtx field but we haven't added into this j frame or this container so we will uh, add it into our container so cont dot uh, add and then it takes a component here so we will uh, add tx txt now we have added this into our uh, uh, container but if i run this uh, file it will not show up the jtx field now you can see that the frame is running but it is not showing any uh, text field now it is because we haven't given any bounds to this jtx field so txt dot set bounds so uh, it takes uh, the, the the value from the left so from the left i want it in on a 50 and uh, it i i will give it uh, uh, 50 from the top and then uh, it takes the width so width is 150 and then it takes the height so uh, the height I will take uh, 40 and now I'll put semicolon now if I run this you will show you will see a JTX field on the frame now you can see that we have a JTX field here so we will apply some uh, more properties on this JTX field. So I'll remove this and I will make this 40 as 30 because the height is too much. So now I made it 30. Now we will add some more properties on this text field. So first I will add the text to this. So txt dot set text. And now here I will pass in a hello to every one and uh, I now if I run this run file now you can see that hello to everyone is shown in this text field now I'll uh, add uh, uh, change the font style and the font size so for that I will use font font equals new font and here it takes some parameters so first the font family so I'll use a uh, Arial and then it takes the now here we will provide the font style so uh, font dot um, bold or italic so I'll use italic here and then it takes the uh, size of the font so I will give it 20 and uh, now we will assign this font to this text field so txt dot set font and here I will pass in font and now if I run this quickly now you can see that the font style and the font size changes to this now I will set the foreground and background color so for that I will come here and uh, use uh, txt dot set uh, foreground foreground color is the color of text uh, so I'll use color dot uh, uh, color dot uh, white and for background color I will use uh, uh, txt dot set background color and now color dot black black 
and uh, now if I run this now you can see that the foreground and background color changes now we are going to use the uh, set editable false uh, so that this text uh, field is not editable editable now here I will use text t dot set editable control space and uh, when it is true so it is editable so if I make it uh, false so now it will not be editable so if I run it now and now if I put an enter into this so you can see that the cursor is not appearing inside this so I think that's all for today I hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you